Okay, my name is Chris Ehato. I welcome you to today's edition of the Chris Ehato Show. You are welcome, audience at home, all over the world, wherever you are viewing us from today. We are inviting you to the Christmas show. And uh, we believe that this program will be of enormous benefit to you. Okay? So, um, once more, we would like to invite you to the Chris Ekato Show. Today, we're looking at an important topic. Okay? We are looking at um, more opportunities with or without education. How can you get opportunities with or without education? A lot of people complain about not having opportunities in life. Um, uh, people who have gone to school, they are still struggling with the education. They don't know what to make of the education. Now, the benefit of a thing is in usage. If you have education, like a car, you're not using it, with time, the car becomes rusty because the wind, the weathers, by the time they beat and batter the car, the car becomes useless. Even if you have a car, you don't have a fuel, the car cannot move. You have a car, you have fuel, but you don't have tires, the car cannot move. The same thing happens to education as well. You have education, you are not using the education to work. You are not using the education to think. You are not using the education to relate. How do you benefit from it? So, can a man succeed with education? Can a man succeed without education? That is the topic we are going to be looking at in the next um, three to five minutes or so. Okay? So, um, for let us start by definition of education. What is education? Education basically means, it comes from the word educare, the care for the mind, not the care for the brain, but the care for the mind. I heard a book somewhere that said, um, uh, education, if it is not used, is a waste. After caring for your mind so much and you don't use the education, it's a bloody waste. Okay? So, um, if you have this understanding of education basically means the care for the mind. You take care of your mind. Your mind is like a muscle. The more you build your muscle, the bigger your body becomes. So the more you build your mind, the bigger your mind becomes. There's nobody that can say, I don't have a mind. We all have a mind. In short, consciousness and the mind cannot be separated. If a man is not as conscious, he's definitely not. His mind is not working. So, um, you can provide oxygen for your mind. Books, books, good books can help you to provide oxygen for your mind. But the way your education works for you is for you to use it. Use your education to think. Use your education to reason. Use your education to make ways for creating wealth and riches for yourself. For you to grow, you must, like the Bible said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. The same thing happens to education. Okay? The way I was educated is not the way you were educated. What I can do with education is not what you can do with education. But we can learn from each other. Listening to my story and the story from the guys that we're going to invite from time to time, you get to know that um, with education, you can make a headway. Even if you don't have education in terms of book education, but you have street education, Education is education. Whether it is formal with uniform or informal without uniform, doesn't matter. I know people like Chief Gabriel Ibinedio who never really went to school as much as I did, but he's very wealthy. The man got his education from the street. Look at Archbishop Idaosa. He did not go to school, but he has street education. Think about Jesus. Show me where the Bible said, anywhere in the Bible where they said Jesus Christ was educated. By who? The scripture said every day he will go to the temple. He will sit with the doctors and the teachers and listen to them. So every day, one way or the other, we are being educated. In church, we are educated. In the street, we are educated. At home, we are educated. So don't tell me because you don't have a certificate to show you went to school that you're not educated. No, you are educated. So uh, we'll talk more about it later. All right. Thank you. And God bless you. Bye. Yeah.